Sup Po Sa Inyong Laha. Hello Vlogs TV subscribers and supporters. How are you doing today? For those who are new to my channel, my name is Jason. I am the creator of Vlogs TV YouTube channel. I am a teacher here in the Philippines, a YouTuber, and a road safety advocate as well. I want to share my vlogs to everyone who might find my content useful. I talk about educational topics like educational vlogs, health vlogs, moto vlogs, and paranormal vlogs. If you like my content, please do click on that red subscribe radio button on YouTube and please click on the notification bell as well to get updated on my latest uploads. You can find more of my contents on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram too. Are you looking for parts of a lesson plan according to Deep Order Number 42S? 2016. If that is so, this vlog is what you've been looking for. Parts of a lesson plan. As stated previously, the basic parts of a lesson plan include a beginning, middle, and end. These are referred to as before the lesson, the lesson proper, and after the lesson. Before the lesson. This is the lesson opening or the beginning of lesson implementation. Before the actual lesson starts, the teacher can do a variety of things including but not limited to the following, a review the previous lesson slash sb clarify concepts from the previous lesson that learners had difficulty understanding, c introduce the new lesson, d inform the class of the connection between the old and new lesson and establish a purpose for the new lesson, and e state the new lesson's objectives as a guide for the learners. This part of the lesson is the time to check learners' background knowledge on the new lesson. It can also be a time to connect the new lesson to what learners already know. It is during this time that teachers are encouraged to get learners to be interested in the new lesson through the use of startup or warm-up activities. Teachers should also allow learners to ask questions about the new lesson at this time to assess if learners understand the purpose of learning the new lesson. The lesson proper. This is the middle or main part of the lesson. During this time, the teacher presents the new material to the class. This is the time when a teacher explains, models, demonstrates, and illustrates the concepts, ideas, skills, or processes that students will eventually internalize Teach for America 2011. This is also the part of the lesson in which teachers convey new information to the learners, help them understand and master that information, provide learners with feedback, and regularly check for learners' understanding. If teachers require more time to teach a certain topic, then this part of the lesson can also be a continuation of a previously introduced topic. After the lesson, this is the lesson closing or the end of the lesson. This can be done through different wrap-up activities. Teachers can provide a summary of the lesson or ask students to summarize what they have learned. Teachers can also ask learners to recall the lesson's key activities and concepts. The lesson closing is meant to reinforce what the teacher has taught and assess whether or not learners have mastered the day's lesson. Well, I hope you guys like my video today. Please share your thoughts about my topic today in the comments section and I'm gonna do my best to read them and make an immediate reply to each of you. I'll be seeing you in my next video.